God. You know, they are after their own selfish aim, their own belly, their own uh, uh, ego, uh, their own ego, their own belly. They are just after it. And likewise, the Sadducees. They just want to enrich their fame. They want to enrich their wealth. They want to enrich their popularity, their character, their career. That is what they are after. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So they presented Moses to Jesus Christ and said unto us, Moses said, wrote unto us, If a man's brother die, leave his wife behind him and leave no children. And his brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Verse 6, verse 20. Now, there were seven brethren. This is their own, their own addition now. To enlarge that scenario, Moses has given us a perfect example. What about this kind of situation? What can you say? And that is what they are about to present to, present to the Lord Jesus Christ. Then they said, There were seven brothers, brethren, and the first took a wife, and dying, dying, left no seed. And the second took her and died, neither left him any seed. And the third likewise. And the servant had her and left no seed. Last of all, the woman died also. Praise the Lord. The question is now in verse 23. In the resurrection, therefore, when they shall rise, whose wife shall she be of them? For the servant had her to wife. So the question is, who will be the husband of this person? In case you see in the place of resurrection, they rose up one day. In the last day, they were called to the heavenlies. And who will be the husband of this woman? The woman married the first person and no issue. The first husband died. And by, by Moses' regulation, uh, the brother of the husband to the woman can also claim her to raise up seed for her. So... This other second one married her and could not raise, he died. The third one married, he died. There is a pattern here, hallelujah. And the pattern is seven people had married this seven uh, had married this woman. So at the end, in resurrection, who will be the husband? Hallelujah. Do you know that there are some people that are in this kind of situation? They married the first, and the world, the first died, the second died, the third died. Hallelujah! And they begin to blame themselves, or people begin to call them witch and wizard, they begin to call them Ogbanje, they begin to call them such name, you know, marine spirit. They begin to attribute demons to it. Hallelujah! So, but the Lord went on to answer this question. Hallelujah! I don't say that there is no demon, I don't say there is no spirit that are evil evil spirit i don't i don't say so i didn't say that there are some people that can be in the chain of uh, husband wife or whatever it might be praise the lord but i said there are some scenario like this that presented themselves and people interpret it in that way hallelujah praise the lord but look at the interpretation of the lord jesus christ the woman married to seven people and yet the woman had no issue and he died she died the question is who will be the husband of this woman? Hallelujah. So look at what the Lord said to these, Sad these Sadducees. And Jesus answering said unto them in verse 24, Do ye not therefore err? That means you, you do you not have error? Do you not live in error? You, do you not, is you not, are you not, are you, are you not confusing things here? Hallelujah. I said, because ye know not the scripture, you do not know the scripture. So you don't talk, you cannot talk about the scripture here. You can't refer the scripture here. Talk to talk to you no know, speak to me based on what you know. Because you don't know the scripture. You can't just present Moses and use one one verse of Moses' regulation. And you want to present a righteous stand. You want to present a righteous belief system. Hallelujah. And that is what the Lord is saying to them. That you err because you do not know the scripture. Do you know that some people err because they do not know the scripture. Some people are taking poison. They are drinking poison in the name of miracle. 
in the name of signs and wonders. They don't even know whether the Lord has spoken to them or the Lord is speaking to them because they are, they are deaf. How can they even hear the Holy Spirit? Praise the Lord. In the name of the man of God said or the woman of God have said, Hallelujah. Or this person have commanded, Hallelujah. I have no opinion of my own. I have no sense of my own. I cannot even, I cannot even pray and ask the Holy Spirit if it is what he wants me to do. Some people have been tied together wrongfully in marriage because they don't know the scripture. Maybe because one elder have said it and one elder have confirmed it. Even themselves, they don't even care to confirm again to see whether what the Holy Spirit is saying to them. Hallelujah. These are Sadducees kind of life, kind of living that exists in our dispensation. Praise the Lord. So the Lord said, you err because you do not know the scripture. That means if you don't know the scripture, by the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, there is a potential of you committing error. There's a potential of you committing error. And that is why sometimes I ask, if the Holy Spirit has not prompted me to do anything or to do certain things, I cannot do it. I know that as a believer, I am being led I have been moved. I have been. I have been. I know. I've been. I've been. I have been under the auction of the Holy Spirit. He said that indeed, as many that are led, yes. And the Bible also said that the Lord God in us, He wills, He wills in us for us to, you know, to to do His good pleasure. Hallelujah. He works within us. Either to will or to do is good pleasure. And I believe that any time I exist, if I wake up, the, 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 the Lord God is working in me, in my willing, in my doing of his good pleasure. Hallelujah. However, in, the, in this area of, you know, searching the scripture, you your ability to know what the Lord has presented, to know the 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 stand of the Lord over time to know what the Lord has said and what the Lord is saying in dispensations it makes you a better powerful spiritual moving Christian believer hallelujah a born again one filled with that joy of the Holy Ghost praise the Lord so the Bible says the Lord said to them you err you don't even know the scripture so you are you, you are committing error so for you to present Moses and present what Moses have said and you use your own scenario to join to it, you are hearing because you don't know what the scripture. Some people don't even know the scripture. Some Christians find themselves in this kind of, you know, context. They find themselves, they don't know the scripture and they commit so many errors. And after they say, oh, the man of God duped me. The man of God lured me. The man of God, you know, tempted me. The man of God made me to do this. Or the, the servant of God, the church, or that church is a bad church. That church or that denomination is a bad denomination. They led me to commit, you know, atrocity. No, it's because you do not know the scripture. If you know the scripture, then you will not err. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your ignorance will not be vivid in the eyes of of the devil hallelujah so the lord went on in verse 24 to say no not the scripture neither the power of god hey kata the power of god you don't even know the scripture then how can you know the power of god how can you know the power of god you do not know the scripture as a Sadducee, as a Sadducee that have a mental, uh, you have a mental faculty of a Sadducee. how then can you know the scripture you want to you want to you want to join spiritual things with carnal things spiritual wisdom with canon wisdom how then can it work how can you know the scripture you don't know the scripture then if you don't know the scripture you are bound to commit error hallelujah praise the lord bound to commit error and once you don't know the scripture then how can you know the power of god that means in this context the lord is telling them even preaching to them indirectly, there is the power of God, there is the scripture. Hold on to the scripture, hold on to the power of God. Then error will be far gone. Then error will not be your portion. Error will not be, you know, error will not be what is going to drive your destiny to the place where God has not destined it for. Hallelujah. Hold on to the scripture, hold on to the power of God. Brother, even you that is hearing my voice hold on to the scripture 
hold on to the power of God. Do not just hold the scripture only because there are certain things that are written in the scripture that when you study it with a carnal mind, it will blow off your head. You will begin to commit error. You begin to trust a man. You begin to trust in, you know, in, 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 in an oracle to interpret the word of God to you. But when you trust in the power of God, the teacher, the Holy Ghost becomes real to you. He begins to dish in revelation. Rema and Logos begin to become real in your life. You begin to enjoy the Christian life. He said the burden, take up my yoke. But my yoke is easy. Because in the world you have so many yoke, you have yoke. But the yoke of the Lord is very easy. So some people see, see the yoke in the Christianity as very hard because they've not take, they've not gotten hold of the scripture and they've not gotten hold of the power of God. Hallelujah. So the Lord was speaking to the Pharisee. They should get hold of the scripture and get hold of the parable in that you know in uh, uh, application wise hallelujah but they air the bible the scripture the lord begin to rebuke the uh, the sadducee and he said in verse 25 for when they shall rise from the dead they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels which are in heaven but they are as the angels so marriage is only necessary in this earth this earth that we body we are we are carrying is only meant for marriage here on earth the heavenly body that we are going to carry doesn't need marriage doesn't need marriage i know that there will be the, the the marriage of the lamb that one is different from the one that we do here on earth hallelujah the marriage of the lamb is where the church will be will be will be will be joined you know will be joined to meet the Lord, we will celebrate that union. The church is not only you, it's the church. The church, the whole totality of the brethren, the saints, the believer, hallelujah, is different from the marriage that we have here on earth. Hallelujah. So if you are going to use the external marriage that we have here, and you think it's going to exist in heaven, you are already hairy. You are already failing. You are already failing because you don't know the Power. You don't know the scripture. Some people say they have traveled to heaven. The Lord has revealed heaven to them and they make error in their revelation. In their revelation because they don't know the scripture and they don't know the power of God. Some people say they, they travel to heaven and some people are living in boy scatter. Some people are living in duplex. Some people who told you error because people don't know the scripture and they don't know the power of God. Hallelujah. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Marakato. Dalakatabana. They don't know the power of God. They err. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that we, they shall be like angels. Spiritual being. Hallelujah. Heavenly, celestial, body carrying being. Hallelujah. And in verse 26, he says, And as touching the dead that they rise, have ye not read in the book of Moses. So if you know the scripture here, yeah, that is what the Lord is telling them. You would have, you, if you have confirmed with scripture, with scripture. So the same book of Moses is said, as in the bush, God spake unto him saying, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but the God of the living. Ye therefore do greatly err. Uh, you therefore do greatly commit error. You flout. Hallelujah. You commit so many atrocities because you don't know the scripture. If you have known the scripture, you would have known that the scripture also presented that God said he is the God of the living and not the dead. And when he presented himself to Moses, he said, I am the God of Jacob because Jacob is not dead. Jacob might be dead in the body but there is a life after death and that life after death is eternal life that life after death never experienced death hallelujah and the lord is saying that these men though in your record they are dead but in heaven's record they are alive praise the lord so do not cry over your dead your dead beloved ones i know it is painful in the eyes of the world but let us rejoice because they are not dead. Those Christians, those believers that were that were martyred or they were killed 
in the name of coronavirus hallelujah we we pray for the beloved ones that were left behind but let me tell you the good news is that that brother that sister is not dead if the Lord opens your eyes with the with the scripture and the power of God you will see that this beloved ones live they are celebrated hallelujah so God said I am the God of the living and not the dead so I presented myself to Moses as the God of Jacob which are living God of Isaac which are living who are living and God of Abraham who are living they are not dead hallelujah so you hear concerning resurrection you hear hallelujah so Sabbath says the air in resurrection I have some points here to 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 read out is that behind uh, believed he said, he said the, the, the Sadducees, they believe that there is no resurrection. We have seen that. In, you can find that in Mark 12, verse 18. In Matthew 22, verse 23. And in Luke 20, verse 27. They believe that there is no resurrection. Confirming what happened in uh, the account that Paul had with the council. That the council were divided. They have the Pharisees and the Sadducees that never believed in resurrection. Number two is that they are also hypocrites. They are hypocrites. The Sadducees are hypocrites. Hypocrites are, you know, inside of individuals that appear to be real, but inside they are not what they they present themselves. Hallelujah. There they appear to be strong speaking, but inside they are devils. Hallelujah. They are devils. They tell you one thing and they do another thing. Hallelujah. They don't even tell you the reason why they are doing it. And they, even when you ask them, they don't even tell you the reason. Because that is not, their life is a dual life. Hallelujah. They present themselves. Bible say in their mouth, they worship me, they say something. But in their heart, there is a different thing entirely. That, that means they create a, 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 a scene of confusion. A scene of confusion. A scene of confusion. Hallelujah. Based on not having the scripture knowledge and the power of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, we, we, they are also called hypocrites. You can see that in Mark 12 verse 19. As they question the law of Moses. You can you see they want to present themselves where we have read they want to present themselves as somebody that is knowledgeable. They are somebody that knows the scripture and they present the scripture. But the thing is that in their question, in their action, in their you know in their gallivanting, in their charisma, they do err. The Lord could see the spirit of error. Hallelujah. And the Lord can open your eye to see the spirit of error in those clips that you are receiving. In those clips, in those video clips that they send to your WhatsApp, you know, WhatsApp chat, whatever, you see the spirit of error because the Lord has opened your eyes. You know the scripture and you know the power of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Another thing is that because the totality of their cardinal belief is wrong, they, the totality of the Sadducees' cardinal belief is strong, so they are bound to live in error. Hallelujah. They are bound to live in error. And um, they know not the scripture. And they do not know the power of God. They don't know what God can do. They don't know that God can turn deadness into life. The Bible says, if the spirit of him that resurrected Christ from the dead be in you, the same spirit, that's the same spirit, can mortify, can bring alive those mortal bodies. It can bring alive. Like the encounter that Ezekiel had in the valley of dry bone. It was an encounter that a Sadducee cannot believe that dead bones or dead bone can rise up again. Praise the Lord. I pray that the Lord will open your eyes in the name of Jesus. One of the notes I put down here is that the response of Jesus Christ reveals very critical, you know, truth. In other words, if the Sadducees has not asked the Lord Jesus Christ that question. Some of us Christians and believers will be living in ignorance, not knowing the scriptures and the power of God. Yes, I know every encounter that a child of God has, like the one that our Lord Jesus Christ has, whether they are asking foolish questions or 
uh, useful question. It is a learning point. It reveals a learning point for us believers. Because if the Sadducees have not come to Jesus Christ, approached the Lord Jesus Christ with this question, it we will be struggling to have explanation to do to people that ask or questions our faith relating to resurrection and relating to marriages. Hallelujah. After death and in the present. Hallelujah. Relating to the scriptures and the power of God. We'll be struggling. So some of the questions that, you know, the, 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 those people ask also drive a, a clearer understanding to our belief, to our, to our stand as a believer, as a born again Christian. Hallelujah. Allow, allow, you might allow other people to ask a question. Let me tell you, the revelation that the, the answer that comes as a result of revelation that the Lord will give to you might pave way for other Christians that are struggling to tackle such, you know, encounter with anybody they might have, you know, at their workplace, uh, their career, at their school, family, or their kindred village or city. Hallelujah. That kind of question will be a, a turning point, will be an encouraging point to that kind of believer. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm just I'm just excited. This Sadducee's uh, teaching has gone a long way. I believe that there will be more time for us to dive in into the Pharisees aspect also. Praise the Lord. So, the thing is that um, there are a list of uh, um, vital points here. I will just read them out. One, Jesus responded. This Jesus' response revealed revealed the following. There is resurrection. Mark 12, 26. Jesus' response revealed that there is resurrection. So, if you have, if you had it from the mouth of uh, uh, Paul, hear it from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ himself. There is resurrection. So, our life do not expire here on earth. Our works do not expire here on earth. Our reward is not yet is not here in heaven, in here in earth alone. It also transcends in heaven. Praise the Lord. Remember, if you don't have it here on earth, that does not mean that you're in heaven, you will not have it. Because the Lord has already given you eternal life. Praise the Lord. He said that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will have everlasting life is a passport that gives us a transit to the heavenly kingdom hallelujah and as you trust in the holy ghost to always work out your salvation not because you have strength to work it out or you are working it out based on your effort I know efforts are good, but trust in the Holy Ghost. Even when you make mistakes, you are able to cry to the Lord, Lord, your mercy, Lord, your forgiveness, Lord, reconcile me back. And yet, let me tell you, the Lord is happy to receive you. Praise the Lord. If if you have not made up your mind to cancel the, the bet that the Lord God has given unto you, hallelujah, praise the Lord. There is nothing like marriage to a resurrected person. A person that is resurrected, there is nothing like this kind of earthly marriage that they will be joined together. Mm -mm. The seven husbands or the seven husbands to that woman will see themselves as angels. They might not even have knowledge of, you know, uh, you are my husband, you are my wife, you are my dick. They might not even have that knowledge because that is not their problem. That is not the concern again. That is not their burden. That is not the sorrow. That is the, the sorrow of marriage will not be there again. There will be a joy 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 celebration hallelujah in heaven hallelujah so the worries of marriage will not be there hallelujah so let us do with that so that if a man of god is telling you that you your husband will be there with you waiting for you to 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 beat you or to 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 domestically abuse you or to 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 you know, to repay you what you have done to him or lie, lie. There's nothing like that. Praise the Lord. The Lord reveals this. Left, that another point is that life after death present neither being married nor giving a marriage. So there's nothing like earthly marriage. This is where you need earthly marriage. So if you don't marry here, that I don't know why, why you're not. If it is based on God's revelation to you, fine. If it is based on people telling you not to marry, or some people have been made eunuch, or they've made themselves eunuch, 
or as a result of the word of God, you've made yourself a eunuch. You don't want to marry. You don't want to have a child. That is, that is you and the Lord God. But the Bible says that marriage is here on earth alone. Praise the Lord. So, reveals also it reveals the existence of angels. So, the response of Jesus Christ also strengthened the existence of angels. They err, and because they do not know the power of God, they do not know the scripture, they do err. Hallelujah. So, when we are resurrected, we become like angels. Hallelujah. So, when we take up our celestial body, we become like angels. We are able to move, we are able to have our being like the angels. We become the children of God. Hallelujah. In other words, resurrection reveals the angelic nature we have or the heavenly body that Christ Jesus will give and enable us us praise the lord another thing is that jesus response revealed uh, that heaven is real and we all as believers will be at that place one day one time hallelujah we will be there one day if it is that is not your hope i don't know what your hope lies on my hope is that one day I will be with the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know. My, I'm, I don't mind amount of judgment the world and the world and and the, the devil and his cohort gives to me, presents to me, and say, "Oh, you are a bad man." I don't mind that because my nature is not me; it is the nature of Jesus Christ. I carry Jesus. He said, "If any man be in Christ." So my be born again as a Christian, as a believer, is in Christ. I do not make myself righteous. Yes, I want to work out my righteousness. I want to work my salvation out. But I do not depend on that. I depend on the righteousness in Christ Jesus. He said of his fullness, where we have read at the initial time, we have all received grace for grace. So your grace for grace is different from the other person. That you are able to make some some quick adjustment to your life you pray for the other person to make such a quick adjustment you don't begin to look at the person like the highest of the pharisees that said to that man mm, i am i pray more than him i speak in tongues more than him i give more than him i i i i know churches more than him i know pastors more than him no those are earthly and fleshy boasts hallelujah you begin to pray that God, Lord, have mercy upon him. Lord, let him know you more and more. Not for you to brag and boast. Those are, we will still come to that and we will still know those areas of life. Praise the Lord. So, Jesus Christ's response also revealed when we are raised, we become alive, not dead. In Mark chapter 12, you can find that in 26 to 27. Matthew 22, uh, verse 32. So you see that when we are raised, we become alive. We are alive. We are alive. We are no more dead. Internal life begins to reign in us. Internal life begins to reign the more in us. Yet on earth, we have eternal light. Eternal life. Yet we have, we are working as we are working in this mother body. Our internal life has already started. So far, you that first day that you make the Lord as your personal savior, you became born again. Let me tell you, brother, your internal life starts. It is not that you will start, it starts at the moment. Hallelujah. So that internal life is a transit, it becomes a passport. Yes, the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, what Christ has done to redeem us, is what translates us as citizens of heaven. Yes, but we need that. That passport is the eternal life that the Lord has given unto us as a gift. Rejoice and celebrate it. Do not allow anybody to steal it away from you. Do not allow situations, trials, tribulations, you know, pandemic situation to steal that eternal life from you. The Lord knows you better. Praise the Lord. Another, another, resp another, the Jesus Christ response revealed another thing that marriage for the children of this world we only marry in this earth only. So marriage ends in this earth only. Any marriage is the church, the old church, and the lamb and the bridegroom, which is Jesus Christ, who will unite, who will unite. There will be celebration, like the way you know the wedding places. You see, you see people dancing, celebrating for the wedding. Hallelujah! 
of the bride and the groom. The same way in heaven, it will not be only one person, it will be every believer that will be wedded to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is what the book of Revelation has presented. Any other thing is contrary to the scripture. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, the, re the resurrected do not die anymore. Luke 20 verse 36. So, the resurrected do not die anymore. We do not die anymore. There is nothing like death. Then the scripture will be fulfilled the more that death has lost its sting. O death, O grave, where is thy sting? You cannot hold us back because we are enjoying our internal life. Praise the Lord. Lastly, we are equal with angels and we are children of God. Then our translated state will become equal with the angels. We become equal with the angels and we are the children of God. The angels are seen as the children of God in heavenly places. Likewise, we become servants and we become a children of God in heavenly places. Luke 20 verse 36. You can see that in Luke 20 verse 26. 